princess. I'm off to earn some money. These days, I can get a fair amount of coins by working in the fairy kingdom. Princess Velvet, have you been studying? This is a perfect time to review our nation's history. The Kingdom of Valentine was created after our ancestors first came to Arion. Our exceptional skills in magic and technology flourished. And we prospered, becoming an affluent nation. In our golden age, we controlled over half the continent and... Master Croy. Him? Why, Princess Velvet, if I knew you would be visiting, I would have had some tea ready. Are you still in the castle in the forest? It's quite far from anything. It is a very nice castle, but it's almost like a prison out there. Everyone needs to believe that you and Ingwe are the only survivors of the destruction of Valentine. <laughs> As we have discussed before, there are several prophecies about this land. All of them refer to the end of the world, caused by five disasters. A monster, a fire, a king of death, a cauldron, and a dragon. The prophecies about our own nation were similar. Ingwe and I were taught about these prophecies when we were younger. Princess Velvet. I do not have an answer regarding how to save the two of you. Master Croy. Any instructor would be vague. They would guard their words to comfort their pupil. Scaldi. Is this an acquaintance of yours? Before the first Valentine heir came to this land, the prophecies regarding this area were already ancient. They are more accurate than the tales coming from less enlightened nations. How dare you insinuate that my country's wisdom is fallacious! King Galen of my country, Titania, listed these prophecies in an epic poem. The truth behind the catastrophe can be found in these verses. And where are these poems? I would like to see them. The Psalms have been scattered and are lost. One section has been passed by word of mouth, however, it is quite vague. If you know not the words, tis best to admit that you do not know them. All wise men respect honesty. If you continue your folly, you will never find the answer you seek. You do not seek a debate. All you want is a fight. Oh, I feel dizzy. Be careful. Anger is likely to disrupt the amount of blood reaching one's brain. Then I salute your extensive knowledge. I bid you farewell. Master! That wasn't nice, Scaldi. I spoke only the truth. Tis fact that the Psalms foretell events to come. Is there any way to read the whole scripture? Only King Gallop knows the entire poem. But Gallon is held prisoner in the netherworld. Hmm. You once said you are able to go to the netherworld. Yes, indeed. I can. I'd like to know the truth. 
If the epic poems tell of destruction... I shall take you there and hand them to you. But please do not forget, if you seek fish, you must first bait the hook. What is it you want? Oh, the request of one as old as I is but a trifle. I ask for a single book, if I can borrow the Book of Transformation. That is a book of magic scribed by my grandfather. Tis my kingdom's treasure. It is not mine to give. I only ask to borrow it for a short time. I see. Well, let us go before we change our minds. Why did you not assist me, disappearing like that? As you promised, I did borrow the book in question. But it was missing the section regarding the curse of the Puka. As it stands, I cannot help your current situation. The pages were removed. Ingwe must have interfered. There is not much time. If the Queen catches us, she will not allow us to leave. The king's prison cell should be nearby. I smell warm blood. Do I sense live humans? Oh, king of Titania, it is I. Be gone, you demons. I have already declined your request. Great king. Although you do not wish it, we will one day release you. But our business today is different. We come here to ask you, Scribe of Arian's greatest epic, about the world's end. The scent of the blood coursing through your veins, I remember it. I am Princess Velvet, of Valentine. His grandchild. Please tell me of the prophecies that are based on the Psalms. What do you hope to gain? I wish to oppose destiny and escape a curse that would cause my death. <laughs> no, the Halia will hear us. This is all that is left in my head and in my hands. Seek out the rest. I shall dream about you saving the world. The corpse that calls itself royalty. She has come to torture us. Silence, Gap. I do not recall allowing visitors into the prison. Queen Odette of the Netherworld. You say you are from Valentine. The memory of that name makes me furious. That criminal you all call the king. Stole my eye, crawled out onto the earth. What? My grandfather? Your rudeness continues. Tearing me limb from limb is not punishment enough.
are gathering. We're completely surrounded. You stupid girl. We cannot run after angering the Queen. <sighs> That's... In this realm of death, I mistook you for my beloved, your mother, my dearest daughter, Velvet. Odin, this man drove my mother mad. Creatures born of fragmented souls. I shall pound you into your graves if you do not leave us. Criminal Odin, you will never be forgiven. You have been warned, you fools. It's you again, Odin. I desire you, Queen of Rotting Cadavers. I shall decline from kissing your hand, but I shall restrain myself while in your court. After stealing my jewels, how does a thief call himself restrained? The crystals of the netherworld are quite useful. It is a waste to leave them. Casting off darkness and shining through, you cannot defeat me. It will be my own hand that finally nails your casket shut. Do not think you will die peacefully. Let's go, Velvet. Don't come near me. Something must be wrong. If you have come to save me... The honey are growing impatient. But they do not tremble nor shy away. Let me take you to the Netherworld's exit. So that girl is Odin's daughter. I must escape quickly too. 